Hello and welcome to this alert training video. In this episode we're going to be discussing how to create a segment from within the campaign management system. To create and manage segments you would sign into your CMS store and select segments. After selecting segments from the menu you'll see a list of your previously created segments. Allow me to draw your attention to these segments that only have a few members. It's important to note that segments can be created possibly for a future purpose, that have less than 30 members, but they cannot be used in offers. OK, let's create a new segment. On the left-hand side of this form, we have a menu for all of the segment configuration options, starting with basic demographics, then offer history and purchase history, moving on to loyalty, and then Facebook likes. And finally, we have user activity. So now let's go through each of these in turn. Here we'll choose the female gender and select an age range. Notice how the right hand side of the form updates dynamically to show you the options that you've chosen thus far. Let's define a metro center. As you can see, CMS automatically searches for matches as you type. With offer history, we can choose people based on how they interact with our offers. In the purchase history section, we can choose people based on what they did or did not buy, as well as the amount that they spent. With loyalty, we can target individuals based on whether they have or have not got a loyalty card, as well as how many points they have. Here we can choose users that have or have not liked our Facebook page. Finally, we can target those users that have been active within the last 30 days, and those that have linked to our Facebook page. With our selections made, we can give our segment a name and write a detailed description. Note that we can keep track of the size of our segment as we progress. When we select our newly completed segment, we can see the criteria on which it is built. Note that my example has failed as it has no people in it. This is worth bearing in mind as you build your segments. This button in the bottom right hand corner is for refreshing the count of alert users in a segment. The segments that you create in the Define Your Segment dialog box are called static segments because the number of alert users in the segment does not change unless you refresh the segment. When an offer starts distributing, it is distributed to the users who are counted as part of the segment at the time of the last segment refresh. Before you distribute an offer, you can update the count of the alert users in the offer's associated segment to ensure that the new alert users are counted. To do this, refresh your segments at an appropriate interval. Note that you can only delete segments when they are not in use. For example, if an offer is live and is using a particular segment, you won't be able to delete that segment. Now let's take a look at how we use a segment within an offer. We'll duplicate an offer to speed up the process. So, rather than sending this offer to all of our users, we specify selected fans only. When we click next, we're prompted to choose from our list of standard and self-created segments. Refresh the list to see any segments you've recently created. Select the segment you wish to use in this offer. Once you've clicked on finish and close, your offer will be published to all those users in your new segment. I'd like to quickly remind everyone that there's also another method to create segments, and that's from within the Offer Performance Analysis component of CMS. Thank you for watching this alert training video. For more information, please visit alert.com or drop us an email at infoalert.com. At